Okay, now that we've got uh, Riley uh, isolated with a transparent background, the next step is going to be to create uh, the avatar for her. And so I'm going to use the format that I've been using. The best way to do this, I'm going to pull up a recent one that I did um, of Wade here. And we already have this sized uh, appropriately. And I'm also going to mention that I have my colors already selected. So I'm, I'm going to use this blue right here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that blue so I've got that reflected down here. So I'm going to pull Wade off of uh, Riley so I can work with uh, her uh, directly, but leave Wade open. So now what I want to do is I want to get to a, uh, a square cut of her so that it, it sort of fits the, the same ratio that I used for my other avatar. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit my selection tool and I'm going to change this to a fixed ratio, which is one to one. And now I'm going to use that tool to highlight her um, and just, I want to get this to look uh, proportional and so uh, I'll move my selection around like this and now I'm going to go ahead and crop it so I'm going to say image crop so that looks about right the next thing I want to do is I want to change the size of my image here and my weight avatar I'm trying to remember I need to look at the image size I think it's 400 by 400 yes so back over here, I'm going to make Riley, I'm actually going to change the image size to 402 by 402. I'm going to leave two extra pixels so that when I um, add the circle background and the stroke around the, the picture, um, it doesn't sort of cut it off ever so slightly um, on the side. And then I'm going to resize the whole thing to 400 by 400. So I'm going to do that and view this now uh, 100%. Okay, so now I've got Wade and I have the circle that I've already created. I could just as easily create a new uh, yellow circle, but since I had it created in another file, I'm just going to pull this back onto Riley's background. So you see I have a new um, layer here and I'm going to pull this around and size it up the way I want it. I'm going to leave a little bit of space around each edge and I'm going to pull Riley's new transparent picture on front of that. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, cut out her, her shoulders where they're outside of the circle. So I'm going to highlight the circle and I'm going to load the selection. So I'm going to hit load selection under the select menu and I've, I have this layer highlighted so that loads the selection. And now I'm going to come back up to Riley's picture. I'm going to inverse the selection and just hit delete. So now I have that deleted. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. This is the way that I'm doing it. So I'm going to um, re-inverse it. And now I'm going to hit edit stroke. And I'm going to put a 12 pixel stroke on the inside of this circle. And so now I have the avatar created and I'm simply going to file save for web. I'm going to resize that now down to 400 by 400 and that's just so the the edges of the circle are preserved. Sometimes when you when you uh, trim the transparency um, you get a little bit of an effect of a straight line on the very on each of the four um, tangents where the image um, ends so this is just my way of making sure that little artifacting doesn't happen. So I'm going to uh, save that and I'll just put that on the desktop here. We'll call it Riley Avatar. And so now we can go and uh, pull that up oh, on my finder. Desktop, Riley Avatar, and there we have it ready to go in a PNG file format and we've preserved the, uh, the, the way that her hair looks um, and, and so it doesn't look quite so photoshopped that uh, we erased out all the, the little strands of, of hair. It looks just a little bit more realistic. So that's, uh, that's how to both um, remove the background using the channels method and then how to create the avatar.